So a question a lot of people have when they start using Vim is how can I debug programs? Because people are used to using their IDs to debug their programs, clicking all kinds of icons on, the, on their ID to actually debug the program. The thing is, in my opinion, the debugger and the program in which you write your code are supposed to be different programs. I don't think you should actually use them in the same program because each program is good at what it does. And if you just keep throwing on more stuff into the same program, like IDs do, everything is just gonna be not that great. What I like doing when I debug my programs is I like debugging them in external debugger, so it depends on the programming language I use. In this video, I'm gonna make an example in which I write a C program and then I'm gonna debug it using GDB. But in the same way, when I'm writing web, then I use the dev tools on the browser and when I write Python, I use the Python debugger and so on. Let's just go ahead and make a little C program here going to import stdio, get a little main function here, and then I'm going to print C. Now I'm going to save this, and I'm going to compile this using GCC with the minus G flag. This is important because this enables the symbols to get into the actual binary. This will help the debugger understand how your code actually looks like. Now we have a binary called main. If we run it, you can just see that it prints 15, which is the sum. Now I can go ahead and run GDB, and I can pass the executable to GDB. So you can see it successfully read the symbols from the executable. So now it has access to all the variable names and the functions, and everything is gonna be now really easy to debug. So I'm gonna start by listing the program, so I'm gonna run the list command. Now I can see I see the line numbers here in the lines of code right over here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to put a breakpoint on line number four. So I'm just going to run the command B4, which means put a breakpoint on line four. And now I can go ahead and run the program, and I can just do this with the R command, run. And you can see it stopped on the breakpoint right over here. Let's say I want to go to the next line. I'm just going to run N. And let's say I want to now inspect the values of the variables. So for example, let's print out the value of the variable A. You can see I got the value here. So this is just the basic usage of GDB, but GDB is actually really powerful. And knowing really how to use these kinds of debuggers instead of the graphical debuggers that are inside the IDs is gonna make you a lot more efficient because these debuggers actually have a lot of features that are really advanced and powerful. So in the end, the fact that Vim doesn't have a built-in debugger is for the good. Subscribe for more Vim videos and thanks for watching.